Looks like your man, little largey. 1847 braided hair, large set. And we got a 1966. All right, bring you back in. It looks like I got a two center. Yep, there it is, two cent. Oh yeah, that is a walker. Yeah. Just pop the copper out. Let's see what we got. All right, another Benji. 1845. That is an awesome find. I will take that. We will see you on the next one. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, back for another penny hunt. Uh, I got a box here from one of my newer banks. This is a different style box. I think it's a Brinks box. Uh, it has the holes in the bottom of the box. Don't get these very often. I have a couple of them here that I need to get through. A um, lot of zinc showing. Not much copper on either end of these. No enders at all. So we'll see what it brings. Um, I've been doing pretty well with pennies, but been looking for uh, a lot of different varieties I haven't found yet, so maybe we'll get lucky and get some of those newer ones in this box. All right, we will see you on the first find. Bring you back in roll number two, and we have got our first wheat penny back here. This one looks a little war. Might be older. Oh, it is nice. 1920, I believe. Let me check that under the scope. It's not wanting to focus here, so. Yes, 1920 Philly. That is awesome. Second roll, 1920 in the box. We will see you on the next five. All right, bring you in roll 15. And we have a first Canadian here. 1997. Um, it is crazy. These rolls are loaded with shield scent. Uh, I'm 15 rolls in, and... Uh, that's all we got for copper scent so far. Uh, pretty slow. Got lucky with that first wheat and that first roll or two, whatever one it was in. So we'll keep rolling along. Hopefully they'll get better. But uh, looking at the top supplement, it doesn't look too promising. I haven't had great luck with these kind of boxes anyway. So, all right. See you on the next find. Bring back in roll 21. And here's the first in a roll. I have seen these before for sale in the store, but... Pretty cool, a little bit of a different find. We will take that. Hopefully we can run across something else. It's been pretty slow. We will see you on the next find. All right, bring you back in. We got all 50 rolls of this penny box hunted and this was a tough one. I have never had a box like this before. Um, shield scents and zinc scents galore. So this is, uh, this is what we got for copper scents in the entire box. That's all of them. That is super low. Um, never had one quite like that. I don't know if I got most of like a zinc dump. Somebody returned or what was going on, but really strange. Um, and then we had one Canadian, which is also very low for me. I usually get four, five, six, seven a box. There's usually a lot of them. So, um, And then we did get that one coin with a cross in it. Cool. I haven't found one of those before. I've seen them in the store uh, for sale with a little card. But anyway... And then we got that one wheat penny. We got a 1920. That came in the first roll. I'm glad I found that. So this matches my worst box ever for wheats. But uh, we'll take it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get another box ready to go. And we're going to add a second box to this hunt. I still got seven more sitting here in stock. So uh, we'll get to that and uh, add that to this video. So hey everybody, welcome back. I got box two here ready to go for this penny hunt. Uh, first box was a rough one. We had one weedy and about 99.5% were zinc scents. So a rough box. So this one here looks a lot better. Looks like a better mix of copper and uh, newer zinc scents. So we're going to get into this and uh, see what we can find. Hopefully it's better than the last one. We'll bring you back on the first find. All right, bring you back in roll one and it looks like we're off to a quick start. Second coin in the first roll. And we got our first Wheaty. We have a 1912. That is an awesome find. This oldest one I've had in the box in a while. Happy to have it. We will see you on the next find. Bring back in roll number four. And we have got Wheat Penny number two. Not as old as the first, but I will still take it for sure. 1957D. 
happy with that see you on the next file bring you back in rule six and we have got another wheat penny here i just got these pushed down and i see it peeking out It'll look like it's too old and a 1944 all right we'll take that and we will see you on the next fine bring back in rule nine and we run across our first foreign it is a canadian i find these regularly figured i'd bring in for this first one from here on out i'll just bring in for the older ones so it's 2005 see you on the next fine bring back in rule 17 and we have got wheat penny number four down here and it looks like it's a little war it could be an older one 1926 that's awesome and a 1912 and a 1926 in the box i will take that and we will see you on the next fine bring you back in rule 19 and we have got wheat penny number five and it is a 1940 six all right add that to the pile and we will see you on the next five bring you back in roll 22 and we have got wheat penny number six back here i see it peeking out it doesn't look too old and that is a 46 look at that under the scope that might be an s having a hard time no 46d all right wheat penny number six and we'll see you on the next fine bring you back in rule 25 and we have got wheat scent number seven and it is a 1945 from philly we will take that i'll take seven in a box hopefully there's more see you on the next fine bring you back in rule 27 we have got another wheat penny here. This will be number eight of the box. Doesn't look like it's too old. And it is not. 1956D, but we will definitely take it. It counts for the board. So we have eight fines for wheat cents so far. Bring you back in on the next fine. Bring you back in rule 28. And I see you right there. I see it peeking out after I pushed it down. Another 1956D. Another weedy, number nine. All right, see if we can hit double digits. We will see you on the next five. Bring you back in, roll 32. And we have wheat penny number 10. It is a 1945, so we hit double digits in this box. I like that. Still have 18 rolls to go. So we'll get that up here with the other one. I do also have four Canadians that I have run across. I brought you in for one of them. I've picked up three more. Two newer ones. This one is a young head, and it is a 1963. All right, see you on the next fine. Bring you back in, roll 47, and we have got wheat penny number 11 right here. It looks like that could be a little bit older, maybe. Yes, it is. 1928, second one from the 20s. I will definitely take that, and we will see you on the next fine. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we got that second box all hunted, all 50 rolls, and we're here for a wrap up of the two box hunt. Uh, so for box number one, these were the finds that we had in that first box. Um, it was definitely a pretty rough box. We got that penny, or the penny with the cross in it. We had one Canadian. We had one 1988 that I kept for a possible album upgrader that's in pretty decent shape. And then we had three 2009s. None of them are in great shape. Uh, do not have any errors on uh, the formative years here and then we did find one wheat penny in those rolls and it was a 1920 Philly which was a great find but only wheat penny and we only had about 30 maybe 40 copper pennies in the entire box so that one was pretty slow uh, but then we did get into that second box the second box was really really good uh, we had a good box with that one so we had uh, one, two, three, four, five. We had six Canadians, the oldest being a 1963 young head. I did pull six 59s out of that second box. And then we had six 2009s. I do have a couple of those I'm probably gonna keep and the rest will go back. Um, and then up here we had a couple really nice 
That is a 1968. I believe that's a 68S. That thing is in really, really nice shape. I don't see a lot of estimate marks. I know this is going to definitely upgrade my Penny album, so I'm excited to have that. I've got a couple other possible upgraders up here, and then I got a couple other S minted pennies here. I don't see a lot of them, and I usually hang on the, to the nicer ones. And then we ended up with uh, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven wheat pennies, which is a great box. Oldest being a 1912 Philly that we picked up early on. Got two from the 20s, I believe one from the 30s, and then the rest were all in the 40s. Nope, I'm wrong. I did not have one from the 30s. So, one, one teens, the 1912, two 20s, the rest were all 40s and 50s. But I will definitely take it. Great box. So, anyway, thank you for coming along. It was a tough hunt on the first box, great hunt on the second box. So, all in all, um, overall with the two boxes, I'm super happy with it. So, all right. Remember to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next hunt.